average an hour of physical activity, sometimes up to 90 minutes. So I tell people that and they say, oh my God, an hour a day. If you could lose 70 pounds and keep it off, do you have an hour a day to devote to physical activity? So is that a lot? It depends. But keeping off 70 pounds, it seems like a pretty good deal. The reason I think they have to do more, and we've compared them to people who weigh the same and have never been obese, and they have to do more. So I think it's back to the rat model. I think you have a metabolic penalty to pay for being obese. And in the rats, this never goes away. We've studied the rats their whole life, and that metabolic propensity to gain weight never goes away. So I think right now that physical activity is overcoming this metabolic propensity to regain weight. And you know, as I tell these guys, it isn't fair, but right now that's the strategy we know would work. Now, I'm not going to get into this, but when we look at, this is the what they do. And this is really interesting, but the how they do it is really even more interesting. These people oftentimes change jobs. Many of them become dietitians. They become trainers. So they've linked the behaviors to other things that are important. They change where they live. They change their friends. And incredibly often, they change their spouses. <laughs> So do, do I take this guy who doesn't support me or the 70 pound weight loss? I think I'll go and get another husband. You know, it's, you have to be careful promoting that. But the fact of the matter is, it's so difficult to maintain weight in today's current environment. They have to do heroic efforts to do it. In my mind, I, I vision the really fast flowing swing, stream flowing, the river. And most people are getting swept downstream. These are the really, really, really strong swimmers. So to get more people successful, we have to make them better swimmers or we have to turn down the current.